Hi everyone, it's TTL, back with another video for you and today we're going to be giving you a performance review of the newly released Codemasters game Grid. Now I'm a personal fan of uh, wheeled games, so I've quite enjoyed playing around with this early. And today the video is all going to be 4K footage, but we do have graphs at the end for 1440 and 1080p. There are separate videos available on the Rush Kit channel as well that you can go over and take a look at if you like. Now we've taken a small selection of cards to show you these today, but you can click through to the website to have a look more in depth, uh, CPU, core um, differences, and lots of other comparisons if you would like to take a look. All the links are down below. But the card was, cards we're gonna start with uh, initially are the 5700 and the 2060S. Now we're not putting these head to head to try and make one look better or worse. All we are um, trying to do is give you the numbers that have been popped out and it is for you to decide on, uh, well, it's more so that you can compare it to the sort of rig that you have at home. Um, at the top, you can see the uh, temperatures and you can easily see the constant and uh, updating frames per second there. That is actually, and then in swipes the XT, um, what that actually is, is an overlay that we use with uh, Afterburner. A lot of people kind of ask how we've done it, and that's how it is. We've just chosen to minimise the amount of uh, information that's available, because temp's the name and the resolution is more than enough. As you can see, we're doing all of this in Ultra, as the 2070S pops in as well. The reason why we slid these across is just so that you can see a really nice side-by-side -side comparison as they play through. Don't worry, there will be a graph at the end and we will show you the uh, 1440 and the 1080p graphs as well, depending on what you want to see. We have actually got a really quite interesting rain versus no rain bit coming up later as well. So that might be quite interesting for some of you that may be struggling for a few S FPS. Um, rain is really quite stressful as well. That's another reason why we've used it in this main section of the game, because it's a worst case scenario. In comes the 2080 Ti, out slides the 2070. So we're up with the big boys now, and in ultra with the rain, you can still see that we are hovering around the kind of 75 to 80 mark for an average, which is quite stressful really when you consider it's a, uh, gay, uh, a wheeled game. And as we come along the final straight, the uh, graphs magically pop up. And as you can see, we've gone from an average with the 5700 of 43 up to an average of 77 with a 2080 uh, Ti. So although 30 frames per second is a lot, 30 frames per second across what would be effectively an 800 pound price difference is a fair bit and you do need to remember this is a worst case scenario with uh, 4k and ultra turned on with the rain and i'll show you why that's going to be quite um interesting now so you are not mistaken this is just the 2060s but i will show you another one after this as well and you have an ultra versus high here because a lot of people have been asking me to give you all of the bells and whistles um, resolution wise, but then with the, rather than it being on ultra, slightly turned down, you can see there's a fairly healthy frames per second boost going down to the high setting. But one of the things I do need to stress is they are both playing in the rain. And the rain is actually quite stressful. And there, as you can see, the no rain pops up. And effectively, by turning the rain off, you can have the kind of frames per second that you would have got with high, but in ultra. Now I know most of us driving guys are gonna to prefer to drive in the dry anyway, but it was just to give you an idea of just how much difference having the rain on makes to the stressfulness being, or the stress being put on the card. And now, just to make things fair, RX 5700, same scenario as we saw before, 4K Ultra versus 4K High. Both with rain, as you can see, there's a fairly, you know, at some points there's like a 15 frames per second difference between the High and the Ultra there. But when the dry mode comes in, which if I remember correctly is just on this corner, 
<laughs> there it is. Um, you can now see that we've bumped the FPS up, not quite to the um, high levels, but it's much, much healthier than the Ultra. You can also see just how dirty the car's got as well, and it's been kind of annoying because we've not been able to work out how to wash it. So if anyone knows how we can reset the cleanliness of the car, please tell us, because the more we play this game, the dirtier the back of that Focus is getting, and it's starting to drive us nuts. So with the graphs up, you can see that there's a healthy boost from taking the rain away and just driving in the dry. And for a beginner or even an intermediate kind of guy, that's going to be the kind of place where you're going to be wanting to drive to hone your skills and learn the cars anyway. But we, we thought this would be a really nice way to uh, give you a visual representation and just on how much difference that adding the rain stresses the card out that little bit more and your frames for second drop. Now don't forget, there are videos for the 1440 and the 1080p runs, but you, you also need to remember that there is a full review over on the OC3D website with optimization guides, more comparisons. We do CPU comparisons with uh, the difference between uh, multiple cores. So we go from uh, two cores all the way up to eight cores. So there's a lot more information over on the OC3D website and more videos over on Rushkit as well. All the links are down below. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment, but if you do subscribe, hit the bell and it will tell you when more videos go live. But for now, at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you, out. Ding! The regulars will know what that means.